Hey guys, let's get a handle on it. <laughs> In today's video, I wanted to show you how I make my handles. And here are examples of some of my handles, which has taken some time to perfect them and learn how to make them fairly quickly. So let me grab my clay and I'll be right back. So I have my clay. I just grabbed a hunk of clay and I'm just going to wedge it because this is a uh, recycled clay from a, a failed flopped pot that I threw yesterday. So I took that off the wheel and just put it on a table overnight and now it's ready to be wedged and reused for handles. All right, so I kind of like do this. I kind of make like a coil, like a big fat one. This is probably for beginners or for, you know, even just to start with. I can probably just cut this in half. I'm not too crazy about measure, uh, measuring and weighing. I kind of go by feel. But if I had to measure, it's probably about <clears throat> a tenth of a pound um, piece. And so that's about what I do. And then I just kind of roll it evenly in my hand, I'm feeling as I'm rolling. This is how you make a good uh, coil, by the way. You just use this part of your hand. You wanna keep your fingers away from it. And you're kind of like giving it a little pressure and you can feel, you can feel where it needs to be uh, like worked. I guess. Anyway, I get it to about here. And so what I like to do is take the thicker part. Sometimes it looks like a carrot. You know, it's bigger up here and narrower down here. So what I do is I grab the top. I'm a righty. So I grab it with my left hand and don't get, you do not want to get this part wet at all because it'll slip right out of your hands when you're pulling. So I get a good grip on it, not too hard because then you'll, you'll detach it. Um, so I'm just, you know, I got a good grip on it right here, like this. Then I have my bucket of water, which you can kind of see but this is the more important part. So I'm basically using my hand, my right hand, and I'm getting it wet, and I'm getting the clay wet. So the first pull is like that, this motion. And the pressure is light. So I'm doing this just to kind of even it out. The next, there's three hand motions that you can use that I alternate with. That was the first one, this. The second one is like scissors, it's this. And now this movement, I'm going a little light on the pressure at first to feel out the clay. Each clay body is going to be different. So if you have really soft clay and you have a harder pressure on the clay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come out very uneven and it'll break off eventually. So in the beginning, I kind of like feeling out the clay. Like how much can I pull this thing? 
this particular clay body, which is Laguna number 60 speckled buff, is um, soft. It's a lot softer than like B-Mix, my B-Mix that I use. I can really put some tension on that B-Mix, but I'm a little more cautious with this clay. So we did, we did this, which kind of grabs the sides You know, it kind of does, grabs it here. And then we did the scissor. Just the pulling down of these two fingers. And then the next one, I take my thumb, I brace the back of it with this hand. My big arm's in the way. <laughs> I brace the back of it with this and I use the thumb and I push into it like that, pulling it down. A few times. That's what that will look like. It looks messy and ugly right now, but you get the point, hopefully. You get that like divot right there. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start again from this pull, this movement, and I'm just alternating, feeling the clay, looking at it. You wanna feel the thickness, like how thick do you want your handle? Um, and how long, right? The longer you pull, the longer the handle, the bigger that thing's gonna be on the mug. But that's okay. If you pull a really long handle, you can either get two handles out of a really long one, or you can just cut it when it's time to attach it to the right size, which is what I do. But you kind of learn as you go. So here we go. I'm gonna, this is the back side, but we're gonna pull this. I'm gonna scissor it. I'm gonna use my thumb. And I'm kind of using this finger as well. And I'm just pulling it on both sides. I'm pinching it almost. Wetting my hands every time. And this really makes it longer, quicker. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see. And I'll just do it on this side for the sake of the video as well. This one might be a little wider because I'm doing it on both sides just for the video. But I'm gonna turn it back around. See how it's getting like kind of strappy? I like that look, especially if you have, you know, bigger mugs, you want like a thicker, you know, uh, handle, you want it to match the mug. But we're pretty close to done on this because I can feel between these two fingers, if I'm going, if I'm getting thin. Now towards the end, I'm very, I'm going very light because I'm, I'm not pulling. I'm really just feeling to see if it's too thin or where it's too thick. And the bottom's a little thick, but that's okay. Actually, I like having a thicker top and a thicker bottom for attaching. That's a really long handle, but that's good for now. I'm going to cut it down when it's time. I just wanted to show you. So that's, that's good. So now what I do is I'm just gonna lay this flat, truthfully, like that. And I'm gonna let it dry. Now, some people um, prefer to set their handles up now, kind of like this, to give it the curve now. This is long, so it's gonna be weird. I don't like to do that um, 
my method I like is um, I kind of shape it in, in the curvature that, that I like when it's time to put it on the mug. So you want it to be not wet like that. Um, a little softer than leather hard, like, yeah, softer than leather hard. So you can still like bend it and shape it gently, of course. Um, so that's what I do and I'll show you that part in a few. Um, but let's make one more just to go over it again. I've got this here. Now let's, let me try standing back. See if this is a better view. See the bottom's like narrower on this one, but that's okay. For the sake of the video, I keep uh, alternating sides. <laughs> so this handle kind of looks awful right now, but I can probably fix it. I'm gonna cut that off anyway. Now I really like the groove in, down the middle. You don't have to do that. I just like the way it, the way it looks. Like how it's a little thick at the top with the groove. All right, so I'm gonna lay this one out to dry. Okay, so I put my mug on one of these like pieces of hard wood that my husband made for me because it's so smooth and the bottom won't um, take on any like impressions from rough cut wood. That's just me being uh, anal retentive. <laughs> so anyway, here's one of the handles that I sped up the drying process with the heat gun. So now it's, it's, it's starting to crack a little because I dried it with the heat gun, but that's okay because I can wet it with some water, which will bring it back. So to attach it, we're gonna need some slip, which I have here, a little scratcher tool, a knife, and a little paintbrush. Let's get right to it. I just wanna wet this a bit. So here's my little handle. I'm going to just, I know my handles pretty well. So I'm gonna cut it a, like right here cause I want it to be a little thick at the top and I'm just gonna remove that big chunk. And then I'm gonna just cut the bottom probably about here. So you can measure, once you figure out like your handles, you can measure them with a ruler and like know exactly, you know, what, what you like. Um, so for now, I'm, that's how I shape it, literally like that. Like I just put it up on its side and I can kind of visualize how I want it, you know? And that's good to start. I don't know if you can see that, but I like that curve because this, this part right here is going to attach to the, to the mug. 
sorry for the noise. There's all kinds of stuff going on at our homestead all the time. We've got six dogs and the tractor running in the background. So, so when placing this on your on your mug to determine where you want it, hold your handle gently. And what I do is I kind of just, I'll put it either in front. In your case, it'll be like here, I'll put it, put it in back to see how I want the profile to look. So that's how I kind of play with it without really touching the pot, I'm just putting this handle in the back and playing with, hmm, do I want it up more? Do I want it down? So I tend to like to attach my handles on this shape, like right around here. So I'm gonna play with this here and see where I want to put it. Now to me, this handle looks a little big. So I'm going to cut it a bit from the bottom. Whoops. So I'm just going to trim off a tiny little piece this much I took off and I didn't make an even cut. That's okay. I can fix that too. All right, so now that I've got the size that I want, I'm gonna put it like about just like that. That's perfect size. So now that I know my size, I'm going to take this off gently and I'm gonna slip and score where there is a mark from where I just had it. So I'm scoring and I'm lining this up like super accurately because if you don't, you'll have like a sideways handle. It almost looks like a side ponytail. <laughs> um, I don't know why it reminds me of that, but. So anyway, just follow this down evenly before when you make your scratch. All right. So I scratched that. I'm also going to take my handle and I'm gonna scratch it right here. And right here. is like kind of hard to do filming but do the best I can all right so now I can add some slip and I'm gonna add it to both both um, piece, the handle here and here. So now attaching it, I want to get a good attachment here. So I kind of wiggle it and push it in you know, give it a good push in. I don't want to attach the bottom yet. Maybe just gently, just to get a feel for, actually that's not what I wanted. So that's, eh. I can work with it. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's on there and I don't want to mess with it. 
So right now I'm just checking to see if it's even to my eye. It's going to get a little distorted in a minute because I'm going to wet my finger and start pulling this clay from the handle down a bit onto the mug to get a secure attachment. And this can take a little bit. I might have uh, dried this handle a little too much too fast because it's like, you know, weird. So I'm going to put this down and mess with it because it's, it's so ugly right now. Um, but I can fix it. So I'm fixing it by pushing this up a bit because I'm missing the curve I wanted, which is about there. So this will just have to be like a you know, put the little bit higher up. But before I really attach that bottom, I want to make sure I like where it is. And now I'm going to take, this is what I do. Take my two thumbs and I wet them. And I kind of <clears throat> really get these corners in. like with this kind of emotion. I want a good attachment. I don't want this falling off, which has happened before. So, whoops. Let's just do that. All right, let's see how it looks. It needs a little lift, but we'll we'll get to that at the end. All right. This pot is like still sticky. So I'm just gonna go back in and this had a lot of clay there, so I'm just making it less chunky right now. I like to use this sponge when I'm doing handles because I can get into the grooves easier like this. Smoothing everything out. Now I'm going to take my brush and just kind of get in here where all the slip is and move it around. And I'm okay if water drips down, I can wipe that off. It's not complete, obviously. So, how I like to, I attach the bottom is I have this little impression. So I wet it slightly. And then I gently roll it in. Especially if the clay is soft. I don't know if you can see that, but it leaves a cute little star or flower. Then I take my flat sponge and I just gently 
clean this all up. Soft, this clay is getting, is like soft, so I'm being gentle. Okay, and because this handle isn't exactly what I was aiming for, it's decent. It's just hard because I'm filming at it and I'm doing this at a weird angle. That's all right. So, A, I like to wet my finger and go inside of the handle and kind of just clean that up a bit from any like crumbs and just smooth it very gently. Then I do the same thing on the outside, especially if there's a little bit of cracking, which happened because I dried them a lot before with the heat gun but it just rehydrates them on this clay. I've never had a problem with it like not working, like if I rehydrate it. I know like porcelain and stuff would be way different. So um, it really depends on the clay body you're using, but generally stoneware is pretty tough, you know? All right. Oh, I forgot to kind of get in there with the brush and just smooth it out. It has a good attachment though from the stamp that I put in. All right, so I'm gonna set this down. Turn this off. Set this down. What I like to do is I like to turn it this way. And I like to get on my tippy toes and look down at it and see what this handle looks like from above because that just helps me see if it's on there centered. Like if it looks like a ponytail or does it look good? And it looks good. So I look at it from that angle and look at it from this angle and this angle and I play with it see if I like the shape but not too much um, I think that's good what do you think um, I think it came out pretty decent even though it's not how I normally do them but it's it's uh it's similar right so let's compare yeah <clears throat> this one seems a little higher up where this one is right kind of where I wanted it it has like I don't know a longer but I'm not that picky. And once it's fired, it's gonna be so cute. So I forgot one other thing. <laughs> you can turn your mug upside down when you're drying the handle and let gravity kind of do its thing and keep that um, shape. Because sometimes if the clay is too wet, the handle can kind of droop a little bit and lose its shape. So if you turn it upside down and let it dry that way, it'll, it'll come out great. That's how you do handles. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. Okay, have fun creating. Bye.